M. Most experts agree that business productivity can be traced to an organization's ability to successfully execute on overall strategy. But to achieve that, what is the single biggest variable that can make or break an organization's vision? Businesses today need engaged and highly productive employees to help execute an organization's overall vision. The office environment of yesteryear has drastically transformed and has been taken over by rapid technological advancement allowing employees to interact with global markets and even take work out on the road. With the technology shift which has happened over the years, it is now no more about a single device which a business user is using. It is becoming now two, three or four personal devices which users are bringing to their workplace. There are many users who basically use multiple type of operating systems as well. So the way technology has changed or evolved it has really become as the user driven uh, requirements but it's creating a different kind of problems to the IT heads and they would look they, they are basically looking at the newer solutions which the vendors uh, can offer to their organization as such so what it's kind of driving is there are 50% plus CXOs they want to ensure that the technology rich and or right workspace are available in that organization to ensure that right talent is attracted, point number one, and second one is the key talent retains in that organization as such. We are here with Amit Sethi of Access Bank to discuss their tech strategies to drive up workforce productivity. Mr. Sethi, thank you so much uh, for joining us. My first question to you, how do you tailor different solutions uh, for different employees and their different work profiles and still unify them in terms of managing it from an IT perspective? For example, the on-the-go professional versus the desk worker. What's your thought on that? Uh, see, it's very, very important in the day and age today when people are so used to using mobile phones and mobile apps in their personal life, the kind of ease with which they get those functionalities on their mobile apps, it's important that in workforce also they start experiencing the same kind of simplicity. Today, technology lets you make it device agnostic. So I can give it in an app on an Apple phone. I can give it on an app in an Android device. I can give it on, an, on a screen, which he can use on a desktop. It's the same experience he can have anywhere. So that is the whole beauty of the IT that you have today, uh, that you can make the user experience extremely simple, irrespective of where the, per the person comes from. We call it omni-channel experience, and that's what we have done for our internal users as well. All right, let's get more details on that. What are your parameters to simplify the user interface for employees when they use solutions to cater to different customers, and uh, what more can be done to improve that? Sure. So, you see, the principle we adopt is what is popularly known as design thinking principles. Yeah. What it means is that I talk to the users. Yeah. I don't ask them what you want it's important to figure out what does the user do and what are his needs because if you go and ask people directly a question what do you want they will tell you an answer which may not lead to the best solution but if you understand the user what he does why does he need this particular application or why is he using this what is he using this for you will get an answer we call it design principle where you are just talking to the users we call it day in the life of a user just follow him See, the whole idea is to make things simple and richer also. Mm -hmm. If you're asking for a particular piece of information or you're doing a particular transaction, can I put an overlay of data analytics on top of it and make it richer for him? All right. Now, as India's rural banking base grows, do you think the time is perfect right now to customize end-user solutions, uh, especially from an employee perspective? Rural India is uh, very well connected nowadays over mobility. See, in India what happened was the land-based connectivity, which is popularly known as Internet, uh, did not reach the level of the Western world or other countries like China. We just leapfrogged from an era where people were not using Internet to a mobile-based Internet users. 
so going with this premise mobile is the best way for my users my internal users to reach a customer so we have customized wonderful solutions for them there is a tablet that we use where we have put an aadhaar based biometric along with that i can go across to a user a woman user who who wants a 15000 rupees loan maybe she wants to buy a new sewing machine it's a microfinance which which she wants i can actually underwrite her in minutes right over there looking at her biometric identification and create a cust customer for her as well as a loan account for her uh, in that fast pace it's been a very big success story for us we have rolled it out in multiple multiple small districts across the country uh, it's been a huge success all right now let's shift focus to byod it's increasingly gaining traction in the workplace but from an it perspective how do you balance the total cost of ownership when it comes to deploying byod in your organization versus the need to provide enterprise data access to your employees on a variety of devices so we let people bring in their own personal phones that they use uh, and all and they can access the applications which i mentioned on on that i think what uh, everyone needs to keep in mind is the security perspective uh, since these are personal devices and we have not really shut them down in a way what we do is we create a sandbox on top of these devices uh, which lets them do uh, things which are bank related in a very closed user group environment uh, with all kind of data security access security uh, till you are able to manage that i think it's it's easy to do that uh, for people to use and we encourage people to get their own devices and all uh, but we do it in an extremely secure manner so if you are able to do that in a secure manner it's something that you can but from an it ahead. perspective what about the total cost of ownership uh, you know just to be you know uh, for frank with you in terms of the ownership cost it doesn't it doesn't go up uh, too much because you know today the devices that we buy which are very high end devices uh from various vendors uh, are available at a pretty reasonable cost as a matter of fact what we used to spend on desktops uh, a long time back or few years back the cost of total ownership is actually going down as devices become cheaper more powerful uh, and obviously because we don't want people to do too much of data entry and all and things are getting done in an automated way uh, the kind of work also they do is of a higher variety so you know tcu is definitely not going up uh, as a matter of fact it's improving uh in terms of like it's going down and i can see higher productivity results from my end users all right so it's a win win in it's a win win it's a win win so mr sethi in terms of your personal opinion as well as the application to a wider sales force about byod and how it's transform your productivity and the productivity of your sales force what would you say is the key factor i think uh, it's enhanced my productivity and the productivity of my sales force at least by a factor of 5 to 10 where i had to hit office before to get any work started or a sales guy had to hit his own desktop to get any work started today his whole approvals plan for the day everything is available to him on a mobile phone which he carries which is byod his own mobile phone in a very secure manner we actually ensure that he can start his work he can finish his work right over there at a click from at a time of his choice at the at a place of his choice it's something which has really enhanced the productivity of the whole organization multifold all right coming to my last question dell has been extremely proactive when it comes to deciphering the different aspects of workforce productivity and they have incorporated some of these findings and research into their end user computing solutions now given the challenges that you have mentioned what how do you see the how do you see dell playing a proactive role with access bank in addressing these challenges so in two ways the first one is obviously they provide us very high in devices at a at a very very good tco so that is where my tco is going down because i'm to, i'm able to use high end devices and uh, at a much uh, you know reasonable cost than it used to be before so they help us a lot in that both on desktop as well as laptops as well as on my tablets um also uh, the second part is very important where how do i secure this environment we use technologies like virtual desktop which are not only cost effective but also extremely secure where data does not res reside on the local devices but it is virtualized and it is residing on central systems where i can secure them better and it's available only as required using these two mechanisms i think dell has been a very good partner who's helped us in bringing down our overall tco 
of the end user devices as well as make them much more secure. All right, and how do you see this partnership uh, progressing forward? So, uh, you know, our partnership continues as new technologies come in, like iris based technologies um, for doing biometric and all. We'll keep our partnership on with, with Dell. And, uh, yep, I'm looking forward to it. All right, on that note, Mr. Sethi, thank you so much for thank giving you. us time for My this pleasure. interview. Thank you. The advent of technology has dramatically reshaped the average workplace and workforce over the past few decades. Influx of new technologies that has been instrumental in making our personal lives convenient has slowly yet steadily made their way into our professional lives as well. Enabling workforce flexibility has been asserted as a key propagator for enhancing an employee's productivity and mapping the right technology tools with an anytime, anywhere approach to doing work is the direction that most businesses are heading towards to give its workers this flexibility. Beyond a point what happened that users, your enterprise users who work for you, they are also the consumers. When they start experiencing the Facebook, the Twitters and if you remember the Orkuts of the world on their devices, then they started demanding the same kind of user experience getting on their hand on these devices which they carry all the time. Yes, they have a bigger desktop or a laptop with them, but when they are on the move, when they are not when they are not at office, when they are out, and if they still want to connect feel connected to the to the enterprise world, they needed something. And that's where when organizations started realizing that A, I in case to make them more productive, I need to have something which they can quickly refer to, quickly look at, and respond to. That's where the whole bring your own device concept started. We're joined by Anup Purohit of Yes Bank here on Dell Always On Workforce. So let's see what insights we can glean from Anup. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Mr. Purohit. My first question to you. Now, at its core DNA, you maintain that Yes Bank is a technology company that also does banking. Could you expand on that? A couple of years back, uh, I had met with our MBN CEO, Rana Kapoor, uh, and in my first meeting, I remember he, he making this statement that uh, this is a vision which he, he had in his mind, which he was pursuing for some time. And it was, while it's a one sentence, it has a lots of, lots of weightage and lots of expectations and lots of thought process behind this. So at Yes Bank, we pick up an industry issue and, and try and find out solutions uh, uh, on, on those. Now the era is changing wherein the corporates and the retail users are used to using their own system. If you are aware we have an API banking product wherein we actually integrate our core banking services straight into the ERPs of the corporate so that they don't have to come and use banking system. They can work through their corporate ERPs and then execute uh, whatever transaction they are to carry out. Fantastic. Let me get a few of your thoughts on a few other topics. Uh, now, it is estimated that by 2017, 20% of all white collar workforce will have access to enterprise data on their personal devices. So, how do you see this trend impacting productivity of the modern day workforce in the BFSI sector and how do you see this stacking up to global trends? It will be. It's, it's, it's always. So today, uh, we don't work 9 to 5. You know that uh, uh, customers are demanding. They would need whatever they want at any point in time, which means we have to, as a bankers uh, or a banking technologist, we have to put up a solution which enable our bankers to, to service our customers. So we have to come up with the solutions wherein we enable them, we equip them with, with the right technology, we enable them with the right customer data so that they can take a logical decision at the point in time. So you are absolutely right. This will improve the pro productivity humongously and this is not going to be a kind of a, a, a nice to have. This is going to be a must wherein uh, the, we need to enable people to, to have lots of uh, data and enable them to to access uh, banking data onto their personal uh, devices. Having said that, uh, not at the cost of compromising with security. But if we could get a few specifics, how is Yes Bank addressing this concept of BYOD or bring, bring your own device? So I wouldn't say we are fully ready with BYOD, but we are ready with BYOH, bring your own handsets. That we are ready. Having said that, uh, there are, while most of the banks are doing it or lots of other companies are doing it, but at the same time, we have, we have ensured that we have 
put in a, a necessary mobile device management solution so that we don't compromise on, on the data leakage. And we have rolled it out across all our, our uh, employees, uh, whoever has the phone, so that email was the first thing we rolled it out. Uh, on, 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 on every, but again, I'm saying it's not that we are doing it for the first time, but we are doing it with ensuring that there is no data leakage happening from the bank's perspective uh, on, on that. So we have taken care of those uh, solution. All right. Now we find today that the BFSI sector has been investing heavily towards uh, in technology to in for greater customer satisfaction. So, but it's important to note that within the service industry, employee satisfaction also plays a crucial role in meeting that end need. So, what steps in terms of adopting technology is Yes Bank taking to improve employee satisfaction and uh, the customer satisfaction as well? BFSI uh, is one of the biggest investors in technology. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say that BFSI and technology are like husband and wife relationship. They, they can hate each other, they can love each other, but they can't ignore each other. We have done a huge amount of uh, investment in technology in terms of uh, re-platforming the entire uh, uh, landscape which will take care of this mobility front. We have implemented solutions like anytime, anywhere uh, and in the bank wherein a colleague can access information from, from anywhere. From my perspective, for me, my mantra or my mission statement, my team is how do I make life simpler for my colleagues and customers? Simple. So we focus on that. We breathe on this statement. How do we make life simple? If it means that we have to give them mobility, uh, we ensure that we work towards giving them the necessary solution. If we want to give them the scalability, we ensure that we work towards them. So we, we work in those direction and, and do that. All right. So making life simple, that's a great tagline for another. Let's, let's move on to uh, another question. Do you see a shift in the way people are consuming IT and how do you see that transformation impacting the way uh, that work is done today? Today, uh, as I said, customer is demanding. Their expectation is, is that they need an instant gratification of what we do. And as a bankers, we, we, we need to ensure that we focus in that customer centricity. And, and if, if a banker's workforce has to focus in that direction, me as a technology uh, provider or, or a partner for my workforce, I need to ensure that I give them a nimble and innovative solution to, to give them that uh, edge in the market. So you've given us a detailed look at how Yes Bank operates here, but if you zoom out and look at broadly the BFSI sector, do you think the concept of remote working is going to be embraced by this sector in India? It is already, uh, I would say, in, in that direction of, of uh, with, with uh, the mandate, you, you would know that more than as, as 300 million accounts, uh, customers need to be onboarded on, on, on to banking platform. Where are these 300 million? Most part of them are in the rural part. So we need to ensure that the solution of banking are available remotely. We will not be in a position to set up a brick and mortar everywhere. Uh, that won't be feasible. So we need to ensure that we partner with the correspondents, as you rightly said, BCs, uh, and we enable uh, them to access the systems directly and then kind of work it out. So this is the direction which we are heading in, in, in this. So we set up the core solutions. We enable all our BCs across the countries or even our sales force across the country to access this solution, not only VCs and, and uh, our sales, our, our CPV agencies or our, our CPA people or, or even our channels to access who are not bankers, who are not part of the Yes Bank to access these technologies and, and, and grow. All right, we come to the last question, the all important question. How is Dell supporting you in addressing your workforce productivity challenges? Dell uh, has been with the with the bank since inception they are one of the critical partners one of the major partners uh, of the bank uh, and then they play a, even as of now when we have started our so called as version 3 uh, i may call it uh, they play uh, which is a which is a transformation of vision 2020 which we have uh, and then the scale and the growth which has been planned by our uh, envisaged by our nd so dell plays a big role in that plays a big role in that uh, they are i would say 90% of my end user assets are Dell, uh, so they play a big role in, in that. My data center and the entire virtualization infrastructure is Dell on all, so they, uh, they are one of the biggest players. I, I was fortunate enough to, to kind of uh, have a meeting with uh, Michael Dell a couple of months back and, and the, uh, the persona, the vision he has post the merger with EMC uh, is, and, and the roadmap he has planned for Dell now is, is fantastic and, and I would say we are, we are honored to have Dell as a partner uh, with, with us. 
All right, on that note, we'll conclude this interview. Mr. Purohit, thank you so much for giving us time for this interview. Pleasure speaking with My you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.